Welcome. We are testing the Winchester Bonded PDX-1 45 ACP 230 grain jacketed hollow point. Test media is SimTest that has been diluted to closely resemble calibrated ballistic gel and we're adding four layers of denim. That loud noise you hear in the background, high wind gusts with approaching storms. Severe weather ammo testing. The PDX-1 is a very popular cartridge, one of many in Winchester's uh, very wide and sometimes confusing array of products for personal self-defense. This is something that I tested uh, actually back in, I believe it was August of 2010. In that test I was using wet pack with four layers of denim and a Glock 30. The Glock 30 is a shorter barrel than what we have tonight. This is the Colt Government Model Series 80 with a 5 inch barrel. And you can see uh, the recoil is quite manageable in that three shot opening sequence. Advertised velocity in this load is 920 feet per second, and in the Colt, I had 903 feet per second, five shot average. This is a bonded bullet, which should ensure that we don't have any jacket separation that is a leading cause of bullet failure. We didn't have uh, the best results in that test with the Glock 30. I won't give that away, so I'm really anxious to see how we perform tonight in the sim test be shooting from a distance of 10 feet. There's the point of entry. Pretty good location. Now it's time to break out the knife. Before I put a bullet in these blocks, I put some BBs into uh, the corners. I put four into the corners of the side I was shooting into. They're coming in at 3.25 inches. That is on the low end of where I like these to be. 3.25 to 3.75 is my range. That's going to be uh, in the ballpark of ballistic gel calibration. You can hear the wind picking up. This is the right hand side of the uh, path as I sliced it. Here's the left hand side which is uh, the most complete side but it's in segments. I must tell you that because I can't see where I'm going. So I cut about seven or eight inches, sliced it and then uh, continued some additional cuts. Got some denim coming into the path here, and we have a stretch cavity that starts about three inches in, and then it narrows, and then it really opens up. If I can see my notes over here, if the wind hadn't blown them over, this big cavity is over two and a half inches long that you're looking at now, and the center of it, the widest part, is just under an inch. So that's a pretty big stretch, and it actually starts way back over here, and you can see the denim's carrying in. For about uh, five, five and a half inches. Okay, continues on. And you want to take a guess? And by the way, I squeezed this together so I could get an, an exact measurement. There it is. We have expansion. That's the first thing you'll notice. And that uh, farthest pedal is coming in at 14 and three quarters inches. 14.75. We did have expansion. It made a turn uh, over to the left as it tumbled through. We'll take that out and get some weight and diameter measurements. There's your widest segment, 0 0.770. The average is 0 0.747. 230 grain bullet coming in at 230.3 grains, 0.4. Must have hit the table. Take a closer look and I'll flip it over here in just a second. I believe there's a little bit of denim there uh, just in the very center of that hollow point cavity. And let me flip it over for you and we'll look at the sides of it. But it expanded very nicely. There's the base. And remember, this is a bonded bullet, so it doesn't appear we had any jacket separation or even slipping of the uh, core coming out of the jacket. Looks really good. And you can see some of those pedals were crushed in just a little bit. That's where I had, uh, obviously, my lower number on the average diameter. But overall, it looks pretty good. In closing, when you're searching across the spectrum of all the premium self-defense ammo out there, this one is one of the easiest to locate. You can find it in your local gun stores, the big box sporting goods stores, Walmart, and so forth. So I give a little bit of a pat on the back for Winchester in their marketing efforts. Thanks for watching the Winchester PDX-1 and 45 ACP.